Paul says, in all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we will help the weak. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give to receive than to receive. Uh, principle number four, live to give. Which is really what it all comes down to in the end, my friends. When we learn to keep our eyes on our spiritual inheritance, and then when we learn to get our eyes off all, all our neighbor's stuff, and then we start to work hard and budget and save, God's going to start to bless your life. And you'll start to suddenly see an increase in what you have. Has God given you that blessing just for you? No. He blesses you so that you'll be a blessing to others. He wants to use you as his calling card. And so he wants to teach us to live, to give. And my friends, there is such beauty to giving. I saw that beauty last night. There was joy in what I saw last night. It was a lot of fun. And, and there was joy in giving, wasn't there? There's no way my lemon meringue pie was worth a hundred bucks. No way. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Carolyn be the judge. But, <laughs> but it was fun. There's joy to giving. You know, some people are like Venus. They're green with envy all the time. Some people are like Mars. They're red-faced and stony. They're like Scrooge. Ah, humbug. Some are like Jupiter, a big angry eye on all their stuff. Some are like Saturn. They've got a ring around all their possessions. Some are like Neptune, a big ball of hot gas, full of good intentions, but not amounting to anything. Do you want to know what the most beautiful planet is in our solar system? It's the most giving planet. The giving planet of Earth gives us air and oxygen, everything we need to survive. 